Take your 3D animations to the next level with After Effects Beta's new feature. Let me show you how it works. By the end of this video, you're going to know After Effects Beta's new 3D animation feature. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to composite with it, and how to add lights to it. Okay, starting out, I have my clip here of this guy opening his freezer. I'm going to start by going to Composition, Save Frame As, File. In Photoshop, I'm going to use my lasso tool and select a rough area around the ends of the freezer. And select inverse. And I'll add my prompt. This took me a few tries, but this is what I ended up using. And I'll hide my subject and bring this overlay back into After Effects as a PSD. Once that's overlaid in my comp, it's looking good. Now I want to make sure my 3D objects meet my subject's eye line. So I'll create a couple rough shapes just as placeholders. And I'll put one over here. Now on to the fun part, the 3D files. I found this animated mammoth from Sketchfab. I'll throw that link in the description. I'll download the GLB file from the site and import it and bring it into its own subcomp. Now to access the animation options, I'll drop down the arrow and drop down animation options. And here under name, you can see there are a bunch of built-in animation prompts that you could use. This is dependent on what your file is. I'll pick Bellow, and you'll see it starts animating if I scrub through. And from here, I'll just adjust my position and orientation of my mammoth. Okay, now I want to add another mammoth, maybe a smaller one on camera left. So I'll drag the file into this comp again. Reposition it, and I'll scale it down and tweak my rotation. And I'll go to this layer's animation options, and I'll select a different animation. And now I'll bring my mammoth comp into my main comp. Tweak the position a bit. Now for the lighting. I'm going to use an image-based lighting technique by using an HDR map in my scene, providing similar illumination and helping it blend seamlessly in my scene. So first, I need to get an HDRI map with similar lighting. I downloaded this one from HDRI Haven. The link's in the description as well. This site has tons of free HDRI files that you could use, so check it out. You could actually create these on your phone as well if you're in that specific environment. But for this case, since it's a stock clip, we're just gonna grab something that looks similar. So now back in After Effects, I'll add a new environment light, and I'll import my HDRI file, drag it into my comp. I'm gonna hide it for now. Under my environment light options, I'll click the drop down and select my HDRI file. And you can see the before and after looks really good. Next, we need to track the subtle motion of the clip here. So I'll click on my main video clip and I'll go to track and stabilize, track camera. It'll analyze the scene and once it's complete, it'll give me a few points to track. I'll grab this point here and I'll create a solid in camera. And I'll adjust the solid a bit just to be in the center of my scene. That looks good. So now I'm going to take my mammoth layer and I'm going to parent it to the track solid while holding shift so it maintains that same tracking data. That'll make it jump out of place real quick, but that's okay. I'm just going to readjust it and I'll hide my solid. Now I'll add another light. This is going to be the spotlight, which is a natural window light behind the subject. For faster rendering, I'm just going to isolate my lights and my mammoth. And I'm going to turn off transparency so I can see the light better. And I'm just going to adjust the parameters of my spotlight to match the position of the window light edging my mammoths. Let's see how it looks with the environment light on. And I'll lower that a bit. Now when the doors close, the lighting is very warm and dim. So I'll create a new warm ambient light and animate my lights based on the door opening. I'm gonna lower that a lot. That looks good. So when he opens the door, the ambient warm light is gonna get reduced and the spotlight is gonna kick in. So I'll adjust the keyframes based on that. So one of my favorite new After Effects beta new features is if I have an in animation and I want to copy it and reverse it, all I have to do is copy it, go to edit, paste reverse keyframes, and it gives me the out animation. Saves you a little bit of time. Now that we have our lighting generated nicely, I'm going to pre-render my 3D objects with my lights to prevent my computer from blowing up. So now I'll drag that pre-render into my comp. I'll hide my original source 3D layer and you see it plays much faster now. Next, using the Lumetri color effect on my PSD Gen Fill layer, 
I'm going to just match the exposure and color changes from my lighting and animate this as well. So when he opens the door, the color goes from warm to neutral and I'll paste those reverse keyframes at the end. Now we'll create a shadow based on our mammoths. There's a lot more complex ways you could do this in 3D space, but to make this easy, I'm just gonna create a 2D shadow. I'm just gonna duplicate the pre-render layer, flip it vertically, reposition it so it's right underneath the main pre-render, and I'll use the drop shadow effect on it, and I'll select shadow only. And I'll adjust the shadow parameters a bit, I could use the mesh warp effect to warp it a little bit. And finally, animate it in and out based on the door opening. Here's our final result. 